Dead. Ah, uh, she doesn't have. That lady does not have a light on her front. So yeah, she gave the 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 universal signal of like ah, you don't have. So, hmm. oh well. Anyway. Today is going to be a night ride. I'm going to ride around District 1. Right now we are in District 3. Uh, see what we can see, have some fun, talk about some random things, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, stick around, we'll see what we got. So we are now in District 1. We are heading down a very popular street, Kekman Teng Tam. Basically, I forget exactly what it is, but it's August, the month of August. I forget what Kakman means, but yeah, CMT8 is the main street that I'm on right now. We are heading basically into District 1. Uh, yeah, let's see what we can find. Let's see what we can see. Hang out. I'm going to show you a few places, just going to ride around, see what we got. It is a relatively quiet night. I don't think there's going to be a lot of action. Maybe there will be. I don't know. There's definitely some traffic right now. A lot of traffic. I'm going to take a right here because I can show you something that's kind of cool. So if you take a right here, I'm going to go down this little road here. Now to my left is a really popular park. Central Market is also down there. But it's a very popular park. You'll see a lot of people playing badminton or the, like the shuttle thing on their feet. There's people walking around. Big park, really big park down here in uh, District 1. I'm not sure the name of the park, but there's usually a lot of people within it. So just past this intersection, scratch my head, just past this intersection is going to be one of the bigger train station, not train stations, bus stations in Vietnam. Uh, again, I don't know the name of it. <laughs> I don't really know the names of a lot of places here. I just know where places are. So yeah, you have your bus station here on the left. Um, I've gone to this bus station many times when traveling around Vietnam, heading to Mok Bai, a nearby uh, border crossing for visas. Um, I've come here to go to other places, Ben Trea. Um, I've taken a bus from here to Nha Trang or close to Nha Trang. So yeah. So I'm going to do a little bit of a U-turn here. go back down the street so the bus station will still be on my left as you can see bus station still right there uh, this is a market to my right it's closed right now but this street is a very popular street because it's a very travel centric street meaning you come here you have your bus station and then also you have a lot of travel companies down here. Ones that basically start, leave, 
um, drop off, pick up, whatever right here. So you're going to see a lot of buses on my right because this is basically Travel Street in my mind. This is where you go if you want to travel somewhere, you come here on this street, uh, Fem Ngu Lao Street, and basically just talk to a travel agency wherever. There's a few buses, there's a bus that just took off. All of these basically can take you wherever you want to go. Uh, so yeah, this is the travel street. So you have your hotels, all of that. And then you have the park right across the street that we just went by earlier. Uh, again, I've been here a couple of times. I've taken a few places here. I've taken, been taken to a few places here. Now I'm going to turn right at this light. Right behind this bus. Because I want to show you something. I'm not sure if it's going to be populated right now. It might be. I don't know if it will be, but should be closed, but we'll see. Now to my right up here, this is your typical very, very popular night spot for foreigners, for tourists. A lot of music, dancing, all of that. Because this is Buivin, or Buivien, however you want to call it. Now, usually it's all taped off, so you can't drive down it. A lot of people come here. So as you can see, that is the night popular spot. I'm not going to drive, I don't want to drive, ah, fuck it, we'll drive down it. We'll drive down here. So this is Buivin. Heavy dancing, heavy music, a lot of pretty girls. You have dancers. I come down here every once in a while. I don't like to come down here a lot. That lady didn't want her photo taken or her video taken. But there's a lot of people here. A lot of dancers. Buivin. Usually you can't ride down here, but I'm doing it anyway, because why not? I'd rather ride, get through here quickly, video it. Yeah, this is Buivin. You may see people with balloons. They're usually filled with laughing gas, nitrous oxide. They're not very popular, but they are popular in a way. I also don't think they're legal, but we do it anyway. I just want to get through this. Buivin. So these kids there, they are fire breathers. You'll see that a lot as well in places.
Luisín. Bouivin is definitely the party party hub. If you want to come down, if you want to party, this is where you go. Bouivin. And that was the whole street basically. There is more coming down here, but definitely not as heavy as the other places. That was it. And we're out. That is Bouivine. It's definitely a very, very heavy foreigner place. Um, I'm not like a very big party person. So... I don't go down there very often. I'll go down there with friends every once in a while. I just don't like it. Heavy music. Um, people are very pushy. Yeah, I just don't like it. And that's just me personally. I'd rather go somewhere more quiet, uh, have fun that way, where you can interact, talk with people, not get deaf by the music. All right, so now I am going to be heading towards the city center. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you like the direct city city center, but we're going to see how close I can get. Because I'm pretty sure the street that I want to go down is closed right now. But we'll see. We shall see. I got a tattoo like right here somewhere. I forget where. One of the tat uh, the big tattoos on my ankles, like my uh, my ankle wraps. I have like forests that go around my my ankles with animals: bear, wolf, deer. Um, I don't have another animal. I think I want to put a a bird above. Um, basically, they remind me of home. But yeah, I got a tattoo back there. Uh, it was like two years ago, something like that. I think it was about two years ago. January, no, three, two, three, two. Ah, I don't remember. Before COVID. No. Yes? No? Yes? I think it was July, July 2019. So yeah, almost four years ago. Wow. Time flies. Although COVID doesn't really count because... COVID began and everyone's minds went blank. So that's Bouivine right there. Over there. You go down that road. You go down that road over there. And that's Bouivine. Right now we are heading towards District 1 City Center. Um, this is where all the locals technically go. Um, as well as... Oh, really nice cars. Supercars over there. Um... This is all where the locals tend to go more often than not because it's quieter. Um, it's more, more family friendly. Let's just say that. So what you see ahead of us 
it used to be a big blocked off area we'd have to turn right here but this glass building is the subway central like i don't know what you'd want to call it but that's like the center of the subway so that glass building is basically the big skylight uh that building over there that is bintan market a very popular market here in ho chi minh city uh, a lot of people go there to get their materials, do whatever, take photos. Uh, but that is Bintan Market right there. Really big market. You have the Tesco Tower, which you can kind of see right there. But I'm going to try and get down, basically, I'm curious if you can. Because usually at night, they close off the road that goes around, like, Hunhui. Um, so we'll see if it's closed or not. I don't know, but we'll, we'll look. We'll see. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. Mm, I don't, like, no? Maybe it is open. Okay, if it's open, I'll, walk, I'll uh, drive around it. If it's closed, we'll figure out a different way. Uh, this is the Saigon Center. Really, really popular mall that is here in uh, District 1. I remember when I came down here uh, back in 2017, this whole section here in the middle was blocked. And it was just a bunch of machinery and equipment because this is one of the subway, subway lines is directly beneath us right here. Uh, directly beneath where I'm driving right now, or at least where those cars are driving, is one of the subway lines that heads out towards District 2. Uh, but we're going to see. We're going to see if the... It looks to be open. It looks like it's open right now. So up here we should be able to turn right. And I'll do like a couple circles around. But this is Gwynhui Street basically your your big walking square so everywhere in the middle i want to turn right and it's going to be a little difficult i bet let's see let's try and turn right 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 i want to turn right where are you going Ann? all right so this is your big street that everybody comes to, sits down, walks around, takes pictures. Yeah, this is Gwynhui. So I am on Gwynhui here, and on the other side is Gwynhui Street. A lot of shops on the right and left, um, on either side of the big square. Uh, that building is called Times Square, <laughs> but we are not in New York. Uh, this building here is blocking the view from Batesco Tower. It should be right behind this building. Uh, yeah. This is a really, really popular spot to, uh, to ride around, to go to, take pictures, hang with friends. And this is on a Tuesday night. And there's already th and there's this many people on a Tuesday night, but we did just have reuni un uh, yeah reunification day. So April 30th was the day Vietnam became one again after like the Vietnam uh, American French I don't know what war, basically the war in Vietnam. April 30th, 75. I think 1975 is when uh, Vietnam became one again. It was reunified. It liber they liberated Saigon from somebody and was reunified. Uh, this building to my right is a governmental building of some sort. I forget what. Uh, there's Batesco Tower. You can kind of make it out. see if I can see it from another angle but yeah this is a governmental building you'll notice that a lot of the buildings have like a French architecture to it 
Um, that's because this was a French colony back in the 1800s. Vietnam used to be a French thing, basically. Um, a French territory. And so, over there is like a big boardwalk. Let's see if I can get by it near it, or near it later. Uh, but yeah, District 1 was created in 1859, I believe, by the French colonies, French colonialists, French territory, whatever. Um, yeah, so everything down here, a lot of the, the big historical buildings are French architecture. So as you can see, really popular area. There's Batesco Tower, it's kind of hard to see it. I didn't get a good angle at it, whoops. Uh, but we're heading to the middle. We're heading back to the circle, the roundabout that I turned right at. It's the big lotus plant. Lotus is Vietnam's like country flower. So yeah, it's the, uh, the lotus roundabout. Every once in a while you'll see some really nice cars. Like I don't know what car that is, but it's nice. <laughs> Trying to get through here as best as I can. A lot of traffic. A lot of people, might I say. A lot of people. So yeah, they turned on the lights for the Lotus. It was off when I came by earlier um, and turned right, but now it is on. So I'm going to try and go by it relatively slowly so, so you can see it. But driving at night is way different than driving during the day. So I'm not turning left, but you can see there that is the lotus plant, lotus fountain. Now this building straight ahead of me, so you can see kind of through the trees, that is a statue of Ho Chi Minh. Basically what this city is named after. And then the building in front of me is the, uh, the very first, I believe, French building created. It is now a governmental building. I'm going to pull over here for a sec. There's a French, um, French courthouse, I believe. Or is, that over, or is that building over there the courthouse? I don't remember. But this is the People's Committee building now of Ho Chi Minh City of Vietnam, I believe. I don't know if the People's Committee is for Vietnam. I believe that is just for Hanoi. They're the capital, they deal with the Vietnamese government. But this is the People's Committee for Ho Chi Minh City, I would assume. But yeah, this is very old building. This was built in the early 1900s, I think, if, if my history is correct. Um, but yeah, it's still around, still looks beautiful as ever. Um, so yeah, we're going to, uh, to go back around to the Lotus. And there's Ho Chi Minh again, right there. Ho Chi Minh. So I'm going to turn left here at the Lotus again. And there's a lot of traffic. I'm sorry. So here is that Lotus roundabout. Cool roundabout. Definitely, definitely something that's picturesque. It was built um, just recently. When I was here in 2017, it was not here, but um, around 2020, I think, 2020 or so, it was finally completed. I think. I don't remember the exact time. Uh, but all of this used to be blocked off, because this is all part of the subway system. Or at least underground, because there's a station right there. 
But this building straight ahead of us is the Opera House. Super cool building. As you can tell, a lot of people come here to take photos of it. People sit in front of it. But this is the Opera House, the musical Opera House. Uh, so they'll have musical performances, orchestras, symphonies, operas. Uh, I don't know about like theatrical stuff. I don't know about that. But cool, cool building. Uh, yesterday, I came down here. Not yesterday. Was it yesterday? No, Sunday. Sunday night, I came down here. Um, cue, cue that video. <laughs> and it was packed. Uh, it was during the, the reunification night, so there were fireworks and stuff, but people were just standing in the middle of the road. Oh my god. It was crazy trying to get through that. Um, I was trying to get home, but all the bridges and stuff, uh, I was in District 2 trying to get home, and the bridges were closed, and so I had to come into District 1, uh, and I got stuck. <laughs> it took me like an hour to get out of District 1. It was terrible. Um, yeah, it is what it is. But it was fun. It was okay. Uh, I was low on gas, so I was freaking out, like thinking I was going to get stuck in... Uh, in uh, traffic or get stuck in District 1 and run out of gas or something. It was, well, uh, I was freaking out on the inside. Like everywhere I turned was just people. And I just couldn't get out. We were driving on sidewalks and, and trying to get around places. It was crazy, man. It was absolutely crazy. But that's Vietnam. Sometimes, sometimes chaos is, is inevitable. So I'm going to try and get to a, a famous building, if I can remember how to get there. Um, we'll see. I have an idea. It's going to take me a minute to try and figure it out. But I have an idea on how to get there. So the person on that orange motorbike that went by us earlier, see if I can get behind them or at least you can see them. So you see the orange motorbike? They are like tour motorbike people. Uh, you can hop on a motorbike with them and they'll take you around the city and basically do what I'm doing with you right now. Just kind of take you to different locations, talk to you about them, Pretty sure most of them speak English well enough to be able to convey information at least. Uh, don't remember what exactly what what road to take here. I almost feel like just following the uh, <laughs> the guy on the orange bike. I think this is the road I take. I'm pretty sure I, I turn right here. I'm almost positive this is where I turn. When you, yeah, this has to be it. This has to be it because I'm pretty sure this is it. Um, this building here, where the big antenna is, I think, I think that's going to be. Yes, I was right. Woo. Okay, so to my right, coming up soon, here's a guy selling street food. This is your typical thing people will sell street food off of. Goes right around, sell you bovine, um, cavine, stuff like that. Basically, beef balls, fish balls. But this is where I wanted to go. So, right now it's dark, so you can't really see it. But this is the cathedral, the Christian, Catholic, whatever cathedral, Catholicism, I don't know. Um, but it's in repairs right now. A lot of masonry work is being done to it. Um, but that is the cathedral. Hopefully you can see that okay. I think you can. I hope so. And then over here, you have the post office. The very famous, again, French architectural post office. Been around for a very long time. Um, Boudin, post office in Vietnamese, I think. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. Who knows? 
tell me in the comments. Uh, but yeah. Now, if I continue straight, I'm going to go to this intersection. I'm going to turn left. And you are going to see something else. Cool lights here, though. I like the lighting. That's another... Uh, this is another place called the Diamond Plaza, as you can see. It's another, not, I don't think, yeah, maybe. Yeah, it is the Diamond Plaza. So that is another really big mall here within Ho Chi Minh City. Um, within the Diamond Plaza, a leaf fell down. Nearly hit me in the head. Um, within the Diamond Plaza, you'll have a lot of things, basically. Just like a normal mall, I would say. So I'm gonna turn left here. Well, I'm going to turn left. Oh, you can't really see it because it's dark. Oh, that sucks. I thought it would be lit up. But straight ahead of me, what, you would have seen the, uh, the palace. Uh, presidential palace, I think is what it's called. I don't remember. But you would have seen the palace straight ahead. I thought it would be lit up, similar like the White House in America, but it's not, which is, that sucks. I thought it would be lit up. That's really, really lame. Uh, but yeah, I'll throw in a picture of, of what the Presidential Palace looks like. It's a cool building. Um, it definitely looks presidential. But yeah, cool building. Um, trying to think of what else I could show you. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of things here in District 1. District 1 is the central, basically the central port of, of Vietnam. It's where all the governmental stuff is, where a lot of the office buildings are. Um, it is the, the center point of Vietnam, hence District 1. Uh, okay. You can kind of see Batesco Tower a little bit right there. Tesco Tower, people often will call it Stark Tower as well because it has a helipad on the side. Um, interesting fact, the, the tower is actually backwards <laughs> because it should have had the, the helicopter pad on the north side, but it's accidentally on the south side. And so when people... Um, when people want to use the helipad, it's too windy or something, so you can't use it. So it's basically just a... It's a thing to be there. <laughs> That's basically all it is. So, yeah. Whoopsie. Oh, well. So, this is the Saigon Center. We just went by that earlier as I was coming by from the right to the left. So I'm going to go down another street here. This is where a lot of the like the bars and the clubs are that aren't like Bui Vien. These are more, you go inside and, and kind of hang out, drink, party, that type of environment. Um, and there's a lot of them down, down this way. Uh, let's see if I can scroll, yeah, down there. So I wanna turn, oh, I can't turn here. Oh, maybe I will. Oh, I wanna do something a little differently, okay. So I missed my turn back there, but you know what I mean. Basically, think of your typical bars, but the inside is very... Uh, there's a lot of pretty ladies and a lot of people drink in there and yeah, do all that stuff. Miss World's Vietnam over there. I used to do stuff with Miss World's Vietnam. I used to be an English teacher or English coach, not teacher, but I used to be a coach for the Miss World's Vietnam uh, last year. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, couldn't do much this year, sadly, but oh well. So yeah, think of like this place here, but over there, and a lot of them just in a row. I'm right below the Batesco Tower. Can't really see it very well, but it's it's there. Again, I should pull over and show you, but. And I'll just put in a picture somewhere here. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, 
they have a fence up. I can't go here. Nope. I cannot. That's lame. Let me turn right. Uh, I know I can go under and pop back out on the other side, but I don't remember if I can do that here. I think I can. Yeah. I'm just going to follow these people. Let's see what happens. Okay. I think this is it. Yeah, we're good. Woo! I'm on the other side. Alright, so. There's Batesco Tower. As you can see, the helipad at the top. But we are going to be going by the boardwalk. The beautiful boardwalk that was put in recently. Uh, this boardwalk is awesome. So it runs along the water of, I don't know what river this is, Saigon River, I think, I don't know. But that's Winway Street right there. You have this big boardwalk that follows along the river for a while. And a lot of people will come here, again, hang out, chill, You'll see people jogging it sometimes. You'll see people uh, exercising within it, playing the uh, the foot shuttle thing. I don't know what it's called. It's like think of it as like badminton birdie, but it's bigger and for your feet, and you kick it around. It's like a Eastern Southeast Asian hacky sack. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Um, you have some grass to chill on pretty cool way over there you can see with the red tower uh, that is landmark 81 uh, in a previous video I think I said landmark 82 but it's actually landmark 81 uh, I do want to not uh, I want to turn left here which is gonna be a little difficult following this cast tank with a chain dragging that's not safe. But this is basically District 1. There's not much left to say. Um, yeah. District 1 is a cool, cool district. Um, and it is the first one. So I'm going to go through District 1 and then I'm going to go through all the other districts as well. Kind of show you maybe things to see. I'm um, just trying to go around, see what I find, see what I see. So yeah, uh, we'll finish out this little bit of a drive here and start heading out. Uh, so we turn back to the right and you can see the boardwalk is now on my left. So I kind of just did like a circle. One of these days I will, that was loud, one of these days I will show you how to tr cross traffic in Vietnam. Um, it's not as hard as you would think. Like right now would be a perfect time for me to do it. But I do have, eh, whatever, I'm not going to do it right now. I want to go home. <laughs> I'm after work right now. I just decided to come down here, ride around, talk about a few things, just kind of make an easy, an easy little District 1 walk around, drive around, scooter vlog, whatever. Uh, so yeah, have yourselves a good night. Enjoy the rest of your day if you are in the West somewhere. Um, but yeah, this is now going to be going into District 4, which I will do later. Have yourselves a good one. Peace.